still a lot to go there. A lot to go. And the storm yeah. has raised important questions. Why is New York so flood prone and what's being done to prevent future flooding? CBS 2 investigative reporter Tim McNicholas has some answers and shows us what other cities are doing. Where you see water pouring into this Queen subway station, Eric Sanderson sees something else. It's a place where used to be a salt marsh. And where you see flooding in South Williamsburg. That was Wallaba Creek. Sanderson is an ecologist with the New York Botanical Garden who spent years mapping out and visualizing what New York City looked like before and after it became a city. I know where these places are flooding because they're all places used to be wetlands or streams or ponds in the past, and we built city on top of them. Scientists say those areas are even more flood prone thanks to the increased heavy rainfalls caused by climate change. <laughs> New York State's Department of Environmental Conservation honored several communities Monday for reducing emissions, which the state says can slow the effects of climate change. If we do everything we can to reduce emissions globally right now, it will take decades to begin reducing the average, average global temperatures. And much of New York's infrastructure was not built to handle the kind of rain we're seeing now. The state and city have invested billions in flood prevention, and it's a concern all over the globe. In Bangkok, for example, subway riders walk up a staircase before they walk down, a design aimed at keeping water out. One of these chronic places where there's flooding, it's not going to help a whole lot. But Manu Lal is an engineering professor with Columbia University. So we need a strategy where we at least install pumps there so that we can proactively pump the water in those locations to other areas that are not yet flooding. The city of Copenhagen has earned praise for redesigning parts of the city to hold water from heavy rainstorms. New York City is planning projects with that same goal, including a sunken basketball court designed to hold storm water at a NYCHA property in southeast Queens. My only criticism, if I might, is that it's just not enough. Right, you know, they're trying to work in the public domain. Some things are going to have to happen on private lands. And the city says they plan to break ground on that project this fall. NYU says they're also working with the city on a plan to create a network of hundreds of sensors to help detect flood risks in real time. Dick and Dana. All right, thanks very much, Tim.